What is going on guys? My name is Ron back again from Ron Reviews here with another episode reaction to Solo Love Lane Episode 6, The Real Hunt Begins. Um, a couple things that I wanted to bring up really quickly. I've been seeing a lot of uh, discussions on uh, X about whether or not why the show is as popular as it is. Now, I think a lot of people who are coming or asking this question are the same people like me. They've watched a lot of anime. And... I think it's a, it's a bit of a shame, but I've almost come to the conclusion, and it's this is my own personal opinion, of course, that the more you watch anime, the more you're going to tend to not like anime. Now, breaking that down, this is going to be a little bit, I'm not going to go super into detail because I don't want to want this intro to be super long, uh, but going into detail on this, uh, well, without getting into detail, um, you eventually get to a point where you've seen everything. Very rarely will you ever find something that is completely original. Um, and when they are, they're usually very popular. So the Love Lane is not an original premise. Um, the only thing it really has going for it is the premise. But that's okay. So you've seen, people have seen these power fantasies. Look at... I, I want to kind of say Kirito from Sora Online, but Sora Online is not a good representation because Kirito just gets his powers and it doesn't really show the grinding aspects. This one does show the grinding aspects of, of this character, of our main character, uh, Jinwu, working to get stronger. Now, I think he gets a little bit too strong too quick, but um, I think the manga or the manhwa does it a little bit better. I could be a little bit wrong. It could actually be very fa um very faithful to the adaptation i don't remember uh reading that back then but power fantasies are something that anyone could basically just watch it is fun for most anyone um uh girls or boys um i think anyone can just get an interest in this uh even children it's kind of like my hero academia um it is an overdone it's been done before especially in regular uh, regular um, mediums where heroes have been done significantly, especially with the whole Marvel uh, phase and then with DC doing its own thing. So you just get to a point where you've seen everything. And that doesn't mean it's a bad series. It doesn't mean it's a bad premise. It just means you've already seen that. And that's okay. It's perfectly okay to already see something. A lot of people might not have. And that might be why the show is as popular as it is, is because either one, they're turning their brain off, which I think is perfectly fine in this show, um, series where they're like, oh, this has been done before, but that's okay. They don't need to think about it too hard. I think that's the best way to look at this uh, type of show. And that's how I'm looking at this show, type of show. Um, or they've legitimately never seen something like a power fantasy or a grinding aspect done, and then this is great. And if that's the case, yes, yeah, so they pop the the I believe the popularity is warranted. But that's just my two cents. I've been going on for too long. I'm ready to jump into this episode of the action. So without further ado, let's jump into episode six of So Lovely and starting in three, two, one. Let's jam. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just going to turn that up. Strip his gear or sell it.
Unfortunately, <clears throat> our main character has plot armor, so fuck you. But I remember when he went into that instance, yeah. But he had that there was a notification over it. Did it even pierce it? Is this is this the first time we've seen the blue eyes? Okay, opening. By the way, out of curiosity, for those who are interested, what is the best in opening? This is not the best opening, by the way, by far. Um, I think it's subpar. Visually, it's fine, but Musically, yeah, it, it's it's mediocre at best. Um, but of course, they're using a K-pop band, and I, I'm I'm not super into K-pop. There are a couple of songs that I don't mind. Um, in fact, I believe one of the uh, guys from BTS, the one who split off, I think it was the guy who first went into deployment. Uh, his uh, n uh, necessary uh, two years mandatory um, military service. Uh, I like a couple of his songs. I don't know his name. Um, but uh, there are a couple songs like, okay, that's, that's catchy enough. That's interesting. Um, would I be like super, like, um, a fan? Probably never. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever been a fan of anything like that. Um, I would probably make exceptions, but yeah, there's, there's nothing I'm like super into. Um, I haven't seen a, a lot of openings from the season. Um, I think I, I haven't even seen Classroom of the Elites. Uh, and I'm curious because I thought the first one was really good. Second one was okay. So we'll see. Very rarely do I find um, uh, sequel seasons to have a better uh, opening. All right, than the original first season. Oh, what was his name? Bake. What about kind of car that was? So he's not really, he's still not really making a dent. So you have to go for the eyes then, right? Meanwhile, this guy's just like watching. He's the main character. That's okay. It's on him. I love I the good artistic choice of that. Venom. 
Acid. It's actually kind of dope. Okay. A little bit to the left, you. You basically use a full restore. Oh, he actually went through. Oh, see the eye. So what you're saying is he just he's getting CC chained. Hey, so now he's level 21. Yep, just piling up rewards. Yeah, imagine the guys who come back and watch and like, what the fuck? Nikki is uh, older brother, though. You want to do this? Dude flex so hard. He ripped his... <laughs> he tore his freaking... What is it? Obi? I think it's... Is it Obi? I might be totally wrong on that one. Sorry, I still have a cough. Yeah, it was totally him. It was all him. Me did it, I think. What, hand it over and then I won't kill you? Oh.
This is... I refuse. That first that first mini was too fast, I couldn't even see it. Who's that? That's not the sister, is it? No, it's just a, another. Hmm. I don't even remember these characters, in all honesty. Like the top, top of the top, basically. Set coffee. I'm surprised he let him get hit by that, though. Or was he just distracted? Good voice acting. Remember, you're also fighting for your mother. He's like, I didn't. You see that little sweat drop? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I didn't know he fucking just yeeted his head off. I mean, to be fair, I mean, you get anything like that happening right in front of you. But I feel nothing.
Oh, we got hit with a uh, poison. <laughs> well, he did gain three levels. Yeah, and you're next, buddy. And it's just going to go straight through him. He did say he was super fast, and like he even pointed it out. Sorry, man. You're a part of a quest. I kind of had to do it. Oh, I was about to say three times the price. I was like, oh. Now, what does he get, though? Yeah, what about the mana crystals, though? No mana crystals? Yes. Skill? Oh. Murder's intent. For, wait, well, how many? Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Don't just even question it. I know he calls him boss in the manhwa. I just it, 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 is that actually how it works in Japanese culture where they say Aniki, big brother, but I thought there was an actual name for it. Unless he's it, I don't know. It's a great day for rain. Sister? I don't remember. All right, dude. Yep. Oh, that's right. I know who this is. Okay. I, I remember he plays a role later on, doesn't he? Like it's not as right in the right in front. Um, because I remember when they originally, well, when they, I thought when they first introduced him, <coughs> um, they had to basically remind you who he was and how who he was connected to. Um, but yeah. Uh. Anything for the end? All right, the next episode is, let's see how far I can go. All right. So yeah, um, another fun episode as always. Um, I don't have any problem with this show. Uh, I just, again, turn my brain off, enjoy it, have fun. And I think that's how a lot of shows should be. Um, not everything needs to be uh, studied under a magnifying glass. Um, not everything just needs to be 
um, interesting just for the sake of it. Or, um, sorry, sorry, original for the sake of it. <clears throat> because after a while, there, nothing will be really original anymore, and if there ever is, like, I think if there was a completely 100% original concept, it would probably take things by storm. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of reaction. I have a lot of stuff going on today. It is my pop's birthday, so happy birthday to him. Gonna be taking him out for some good Korean barbecue uh, at, a, at a place I've never been to, but I've heard it's very good, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, hopefully get some rest in beforehand, because I'm quite tired. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of reaction. Let me know what you guys in the comment section below. As always, have a good day. Peace.